This is Junie, the newest member of the counseling team at a suburban Chicago high school. Her job? To help stressed out students chill out. There are students who are on this end of the, the spectrum and stop down. Hey, I just want to pet Junie and sort of get a Junie fix. And they smile and the mood is elevated all the way to I'm in the throes of a panic attack and I need to sit with Junie um, while I talk to you. Stress is a growing problem at schools across the country where many students are feeling overworked, overwhelmed, and in need of a little understanding, even from a furry friend. I'm not a school person, like I have anger problems and I have anxiety problems, but when I come in and see her every day, it's just, I get calm. For me, it's college and having to apply and it, all the stress was just building up and it's also school and tests and finals especially. There's just too much. Schools like this one in Minnesota are trying other ways to reduce stress, including the teenage version of recess, a 20-minute break between morning classes. What the 20-minute break really provides is like time to rest instead of, you know, having to go from one class where my brain is working to another where it has to work for just as long. You know, just it's really nice because I don't get much sleep. That's because she and many of these students often have four hours of homework each night, sometimes the type of work their parents did in college. I don't know any other profession in the world that works a full day, uh, has all those other things placed upon them, and then is told you have four hours of work to do on top of that when you get home. And it's taking a toll, he and others say. Even the amount of hospitalizations has increased dramatically anxiety and depression. I really don't see that changing until maybe colleges would really step up and say, hey, you know what, you guys teach high school and we'll teach college. In the meantime, Junie is on the case. Martha Irvin, Associated Press.